Hello guys, welcome back. Today I'm looking at Rediaries Pro 16. This is not the corporate version, so some of the options won't work, but it'll give you a basic outlay of how it works. Download the version for Rediaries, and let's get straight down to it. So the first thing we need to do is top left hand corner is connect it to your scanner. So select the arrow underneath and select settings. This window will pop up, and this is where you set up your scanner and how you want it to pre-scan. So I'm going to select model, scanner model, and it'll go through it looking for the correct model. But in this case, I've got the Epson WF2750, so if I go up, it doesn't exist in there. But not to worry, I'm going to click OK. I'm going to select configure, and then we've got the drivers on here automatically. I can choose my twain and my driver that I want to use. So as I said, I'm using the Epson, which is a Wi-Fi one, all in one, and select that will now load the scanner drivers for me automatically so don't panic if it's not the scanner model option next you can choose the contrast and brightness but obviously you need to scan first to determine that later how you want that because every scanner is different, every scanner doesn't scan the same so you might have to set them I have to leave the optimised resolution for optical character recognition on because that apparently makes a big difference now I'm using a flatbed scanner if you've got a document or book you need to scan those of pages off then I would select that and choose how many seconds you want it to automatically scan so what happens is when you press scan it will scan and then it will wait five seconds then scan again wait five seconds scan again it will keep doing that regardless if it knows you put a document in the scanner or not the point of that is you can keep your continuity of putting your documents and keep it flowing so when you finish when you click scan it does the whole lot for you automatically and converts it into whatever document or format you want so I'm going to leave that off as I'm doing a one document ADF stands for automatic document feeder I've got a document feeder on this scanner and printer so you can put a document in there and it will feed through and you can continuously scan which is a good option but as I'm only doing using a flatbed today I'm going to leave that unticked you can invert your document scan so you can invert the colours also you can use a digital hammer if that's what you're using I want a process of 300 dots per inch as a dots per inch is really important because if I come to resolution here it's set on 300 and that's the standard it should be on to just to scan standard text now if it's really small text and you've got issues and your scanner is compatible you could choose a higher one so 600 works pretty well as well but if it's only 300 I'm happy with that I can choose black and white, grayscale or colour in this case this is a colour scan I'm going to scan so I'm going to leave it on that so I need to process that at 300 I'm happy with that smoother colour images I haven't tried that out yet so I'll leave that tick to see how that comes up now, I can't use this if I click on it because it's for the corporate option. But if you have got the corporate option, this increases the processing speed considerably. But I would avoid it if you're using very low quality documents because it speeds up the scans. You might lose it on very poor quality documents. So bear that in mind. So that's all set up. I can click OK. But I'm not quite ready to scan yet. Reason is, once you come up here, choose your language. So I'm on UK. I'm happy with that see that little icon here, farm settings, I want you to tap that now I want you to set things up before you start now on this scanner, I want it to acquire do I want it to rotate, do 90 degrees, 180 or 90 degrees counterclockwise now I want it automatically to turn the document around for me so I don't have to again that depends on what you're scanning, be it landscape as well or portrait so I'm going to leave it on automatic to see if it can work out the orientation Automatic paste is screwing because there's any problems with the actual original image and it's a bit de-skewed. This should straighten it out for you and improve it. But I'm going to untick that. Font type. So what font type are we using? I'm using automatic. I don't want to use dot matrix. Dot matrix is the older option of characters made up with little dots, hence dot matrix. So I'm going to leave that automatic. And character pitch, again, I'm going to leave that automatic. Barcodes. Now if you're using a lot of barcodes then you need to use these options quite a lot for example let's go to code 128 you might actually decide you don't want you might want to remove check digit which you can do with that or you might decide verify check digit so you can untick what you need and what you don't want document processing again I can't use these options because these are part of the corporate options so if I click on there but it will detect blank pages for you automatically and can get rid of them or tell you or detect cover pages with a barcode for you automatically and you can add your settings in there and if we come down there to the bottom where it says indexing you can even do duplex scanning at the bottom there which scans both sides of the documents so then we'll go to teaching mode 
Now what this does is, if I select teaching mode at the bottom as you can see there, any characters or any symbols it doesn't know, it will automatically highlight to tell you and come up with a little window for you to either learn it, for you to either teach the new symbol into your dictionary. So I'm going to untick that, but if you're using unusual symbols or you need everything absolutely 100%, I'd leave that tick so you can teach it for future documents. And language. So I'm using English UK, and at the bottom there, I want accuracy rather than speed in this case. And again, that depends on what you're scanning and click OK. So that's now set up for us. So once you set everything up, we can now go to scan. So we'll select scan and select the scan button. Give it a little while to start scanning, depending on the speed of your scanner and if it's Wi-Fi or connected via cable. And there you go, it's analysing my document, turned it around automatically for me and I'm good to go. Now I've got multiple pages here to the left, they'll be listed here, and I could choose to delete all or delete specific ones. I can also zoom in and out using the zoom option here. That's quite handy, I like that window there because you can access all your documents quickly through all your pages. The lines down the bottom here are activity when it's analysing, so they'll come up with a blue line as it's going along to tell you what it's currently doing. Come to the very top, you can see what it said there. Twain rotated left. So you can see how it's rotated the document automatically to the left because I, you didn't see it but I did it down more of a landscape view. If you want to change the orientation, no problem, click page at the top and you can use the rotate option there and choose which direction you wish to rotate that. While we're in this option, let's have a quick look at it. Here we can delete blank pages. So if you scan say 100 pages from a PDF, for example a file, you might want to get rid of all the blank pages that you don't need. Click that button, that automatically deletes all the blank pages out for you. Or you might just want to include all pages that way and it highlight all your pages. You could choose this button that will exclude and it won't include any pages. So that's handy when you're working with long documents. So if I select delete blank page, it will ask me whether or not to delete. So I'm going to cancel that. Plus you can jump across all your pages using previous, first page, previous. But I'll show you that later when I import a PDF anyway. Again, we've got the skew option, so you can straighten out the skewed documents. 3D corrections will straighten the document's perspective if there's any issues with that. Rotate, I showed you, and now we can adjust. So I'm going to select the adjust option, and it'll bring up this another little window. Again, you can see where I've selected smooth colour image, because with some scanner mo models that will reduce sharpness, it's needed to recognise colour and grayscale images. Also, fast spinnerisation, I can't access that anyway. Again, remember that speeds up the processing, that speeds up the scanning. I've got brightest contrast. Now, do you speckle? Do you speckle will remove little tiny dots? Can you see here to the right? And that'll get rid of them for you, but it's got to choose how many you want. Look, four pixel dots. Two larger dots could then start erasing the information from your image. So bear that in mind when you're using that option. Also, go to ignore lines. Now you've got ignore vertical lines or ignore horizontal lines. You can use this option to remove vertical, horizontal or both types of lines from scanned black and white images in order to improve the page analysis. This helps the OCR. So you can have a minimum length and a maximum length there and choose the thickness gap if you want. And that way if you've got a document it can get rid of those lines for you to improve the scan. Right click cancel. Then we've got the print option, so we can print that straight off as you see it as well. This will just save the picture of the current page that you can see alone, or I can save the full page as an image, so I can choose which one I want to save. So I can save them both, or just as an image, or just the picture. So that's my page option. Now what I want to do is go to zones. Really important option, because when it actually recognises it, it needs to determine what's text, what's images, what's tables and what's barcodes and so on. So it does that automatically putting these rectangles around them. So let me show you how they work. We've got four options here, which is text, picture, table and barcode. So if I come over to a document here, these rectangles here, you can see where it's numbered in one, two, three, that's what all they're in, four, five. If I select picture and I create a rectangle around that text and see that as a picture, you can see how it changes it to colour. Like the images at the bottom, 
it's put a more of a bluey purpley rectangle around it for you to indicate it's a picture so when it's actually converted into it's converted as an image not trying to turn the characters into standard fonts I'm going to make that back into a text document also you can select this option delete all zones and it clears it off for you you can reanalyze it again by clicking the analyze button and that will reanalyze it for you if you need to as well so I can see I've got all my text which is great I've got all my images also if you, you add a table you can select that option and create a rectangle around it and you can see how it changes colour and that indicates it's actually a table or you might have a barcode in your document hold the left button and make that into a barcode really important you use those options especially with barcodes because you need to specifically see it as a barcode not specifically as an image or text ok and select zone you can click into it will select a zone for you as well and if I hold the left button you can drag those zones around if you want I can right click on it as well and I've got a few options I can magnify so that brings up the magnifying glass you can go right into the text do a left click copy as text so I can select that automatically and copy that as text and that way I'll be able to paste it also on the right click we can view so I can fit to window fit to width 50% actual size so I'm going to do fit to width and you can see how that fits in and we'll see that a lot better right click going to come back out of that and just fit to window again also on your right click you've got zones so if you've got a zone you don't want so I'm going to click on there do a right click go to zone I can choose to change the zone if I feel it's a picture table or barcode or I can delete that individual zone if I want as so also you might want a specific zone you want to work with and nothing else well, that's no problem see the ignore option up here click that hold the left button create a rectangle around what you want that will get rid of everything else but only the zone you put a rectangle around so you can work with that if you want also you've got sort so let's click analyze again so we analyze the document we've got our zones you can sort those zones to which one you want to be scanned first and second so if I click into that that's one I want that scanned second third fourth fifth sixth seventh and so on and that way it'll number them for you so there's your analyze ignore and sort your basic option of clipboard you can see which is paste cut copy and clear this will delete all small zones that do not have any useful content and this will delete all zones so if I click that that gets rid of everything for you I'm going to analyze it again to bring up our zones do not detect windows on borders so choose that and it won't give you any windows on borders but in this case there is none anyway so it shouldn't make any difference so if I click analyze you can see it's made no difference there also at the end here you have a template option this enables you to create a template from whatever you're doing so see these zones here if we create a template it will create those zones in exactly the same places so for example if you've got a document with similar layouts and you can create a template then that way it analyzes them more we don't have to do them individually if need be so that could be just one certain thing on every document that you might want to add as a template it might be certain images in one spot but it gets everything else fine then you can click save we want to save that as a template I'll just put temp and click save it saves it as a WDW file and that way when you come back at a later date and click open find out where that file is documents and then choose it again if you want by clicking on it and that will create a template for you so there's your template open and save option so there's the basics of the zones and the page option also if you want you've got a cloud set up so you can send up into a cloud depending on what you use I use OneDrive as well so you can find the path in computer server for your OneDrive and then add your information in and then you can send stuff straight up to the cloud if you want as well if you're using multiple documents I like that option it's really easy to use as well and I've got quite a few there and you can even use a file transfer protocol as well to connect to any of your websites or whatever so that's a lovely handy option go to view and again we can choose color so if I click on it so it's gone black and white click on it again it's gone back to color so you can change the color instantly magnifying glass which I showed you with a right click click into it and it will come back off and these are the options we did with the right click anyway that I showed you earlier you can zoom in and out also if you don't want that ribbon at the top select auto hide and it won't be there it'll disappear click view untick it to bring it back now the activity panel bottom left hand corner comes up when you're analyzing or do anything if that's annoying you can untick it and get rid of it I'm going to do that now because it's a bit annoying I'll be able to see the pages better to the left 
I can always reset back to how I was. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to home. So that's scanning from a scanner. How about scanning from a file? So I'm going to select from file. Now I can't use batch OCR or watch folder. So with batch you can do multiple scanning from a folder automatically. So I'm just doing a single one. I'm going to look for a PDF which I found there. DM770 Olympus. And there we go, it's finished. So I'm going to scroll right to the top. I'm getting rid of this first document I had earlier. Remember, bottom left hand corner, I can delete that individual one. Now it says up here some documents were not recognised optimally. So I'm going to select get more help. And it tells you here the reason why that could be. There might be different languages in there, could be one option. Or adjusting the image quality. Remember at the beginning I set things up with smooth the image. You can go back to there and change your settings to see if that will improve it. So I'm going to close that window and close that. And let's have a look at the first page table of contents. Now actually let's go down with some images as well. Go to the option where it says zones. And you can see it's changed all the zones their colours. So remember that purpley blue option is images and the brownie colour is me text. It's automatically done that. So if there's anything wrong you can then choose the options here to change that. But what I want to do quickly is actually send that to another document. Once you've done all your zones go back to home and then once you come to the output file. So we can do this with a scan you've done or PDF but I'm going to show you with the PDF option. We can choose to send it to Word, portable document format, maybe Excel if you want or if I select other you can other formats you can send it to. So currently Microsoft Word DOCX is my Word 2016 and you can choose a different format. If I scroll down you've got multiple options there going from rich text format to ebooks to TIFFs to internet, HTML and so on. So you can choose which option you want to convert to. Now I want to convert to Word and I want to open after saving. Again I can choose to go straight to OneDrive, Dropbox where I want that to go. But I just want to save as file. Now at the bottom we can choose layout, recreate source document, retain word and paragraph formatting or create just body text. So you need to choose which you want for your formatting. I want to recreate source document so it's identical. Use columns instead of frames. Now if you click on it there it gives you an idea of use columns instead of frames. I prefer to leave that unticked. And you can add the images as page background. Again that's only available in a corporate version. So again you need to go for your option. There's many options here. Paper size you can change here from A4 to legal. I select the option button there. Again, we can merge lines into paragraphs, or you choose whether or not to include your pictures, or you might not want the colour of your text, but you might want to maintain that. So you can click maintain, which I'm going to do. And again, you can maintain colour of background. And again, any issues, click the help button. I can't assess all these options, look, because you need the corporate version. For example, spreadsheets, signature, passwords, and PDF options. But I'm going to tick open after saving and click OK. So I'm now going to send to Word. And I'm going to choose where I'm going to save it to my desktop. I'm going to leave it that name, DM770. I've selected open after saving and click save. And then we see how that comes out. And you can see it's open up automatically as I chose that option and let's have a little look so I'm going to scroll down there's my table of contents and if I go down a bit more as it's still loading and there you go almost identical to the original and there's my text images separated as I chose with my zones and actually the conversion was pretty quick as well from a PDF so there's some basic options when using Read Iris, should get you up and running. Also the same goes for PDF, S select PDF and you can convert it back to a PDF. And again you can change your settings down here, depending on what's available if you've got the corporate version of course. I hope that helps a little bit to get you up and running. Thanks for watching.